New at 5.30 tonight, lawmakers in Massachusetts are looking at a proposal to make the Bay State a so-called sanctuary state. Supporters and opponents of the measure were at a public hearing at the State House today, including opponent Bristol County Sheriff Thomas Hodgson, who says the bill would weaken current safety measures. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen has more now. New at 5.30. Steve? Well, it wasn't just the sheriff, guys. Many, many people came out to testify about this controversial bill. In a joint committee at the Massachusetts State House, legislators listened to testimony about the Safe Communities Act, often referred to as the Sanctuary State Bill. That's because the bill would stop police from asking about someone's immigration status or arresting them because of it. Bristol County Sheriff Thomas Hodgson has been outspoken in his opposition to this bill. And these are things that, frankly, uh fly in the face of our obligations to keep our citizens and legal residents safe. Sanctuary status has become a huge headline nationally after President Trump on the campaign trail threatened to strip federal funding from sanctuary cities and states. In a memo earlier this year, the Attorney General finally defined what a sanctuary jurisdiction is, but it's unclear if this proposed bill in Massachusetts would meet that definition. You don't uh, sacrifice public safety to advance your political agendas. That, that, there's no place for that. It's wrong, it's misguided, and it's unconscionable that this would be going on. Governor Charlie Baker is also against the Safe Communities Act, saying in a statement, our administration does not support making the Commonwealth a sanctuary state and urges the legislature to hold this bill in committee and reconsider ways to ensure Massachusetts remains a welcoming place while maintaining public safety. For a full explainer on how the president's administration defines a sanctuary city or sanctuary state, Dan McGowan has a full report and breakdown on our website, WPRI.com. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.